Hi everyone and welcome to a new Play Android review with me, Lara, in a very Sleepy Hollow-esque atmosphere. Lots of blues and blacks and shadows. Not really sure what's the deal. I think it has to do with the weather here. Uh, fortunately, I'm not going to show you a creepy game. I'm going to show you a puzzle game called Island Fortress by developer Rejected Game Games. I'm sorry. Uh, very cheery, happy game. Um, so let's get going. So this is Island Fortress by Rejected Games. Um, as you can hear, um, you can start your own luau. It's uh, music, it's menu music is very happy and cheery. We're going to start. The idea is that you have a treasure chest that you have to defend from pirates. And as you can see, there are four worlds. Volcanic Island, Icy Island, Tropical Island and Desert Island. These three here are all locked, so we have to start in Tropical Island. Tropical Island consists of 55 levels, as you can see I've already played a few. Um, I'll show you this one, I hope that's a nice one. Okay, so the idea is that if you press this, it starts and the pirates shoot their cannons and your treasure chest explodes, which is what you don't want. So what you have to do is you have to try and protect your treasure, ch treasure chest, it's a difficult word, um, using these blocks here on top. Um, these are the wooden blocks. If you press that one, you can see the stone blocks. Not really sure how well you can see it, but as you can see, I don't have any stone blocks and I also don't have any metal blocks this time. So I only have these two um, wooden blocks. If you press on the left button here, um, the angle changes. I would actually like to use them like that. So I'm going to put them on here. See if that helps enough against the cannonballs. Let's try. And it doesn't. Oopsie. Oh well, I'm very lucky with this one. Because I've passed it and I'll go, can go on to the next level. Um, there are different types of cannonballs. Uh, there are the ones that just explode. There are also the ones like these that smash right through. And there are also cannonballs that um, fall apart into three different balls. So that's difficult. Okay. Um, I now have also two stone bricks and I have one wooden one. Um, I'd like to start um, by seeing where how they shoot it. Okay, so I have to block it over there. Um, I quite like the graphics of this game. What I do miss though is a bit of variation because this level almost looks the exact same as the previous one. Let's Let's try it like this. Let's see if that helps. Um, the music or the sounds in um, this level, oh crap, um, are very um, different. They're a lot quieter um, than um, than in the um, in the menu. Um, I want it like this. Um, they're a lot quieter than in the menu, and um, what I oh this one um, what I miss is variation. I mean, like the island looks different now than from the last time, but this world consists of fifty five levels on this island, and it basically all consists of the same thing. Let us see what it does now. Uh, so the scope is big. I'm screwed. Let me try another one. Um, the scope is big, um, but I miss the fun and I miss 
my willpower anyway, to try and continue playing this game. Because I am I just get fed up with it, to be absolutely honest with you. Um, I, I, I just don't think there's a lot for me. I mean, this is it. This is what you have to do every level. Um, there is no hint button. There is no way you can... Um, try and redo a level um, except for reset it. So sometimes you keep on trying and trying and trying to solve a level before um, you can solve it, but if you try something for 50 times and there is no background story, I have absolutely no clue why I'm trying to, you know, save this treasure chest uh, except for from, you know, trying to get to the next level. Um, it just gets boring, which is a pity because this game looks really nice and it sounds nice and with some more detail, with some more background story, this could be a really great game. It just needs a bit more humour and detail and just more. I'm sorry. So that was Island Fortress, a game that has sounds that made me want to dance, and a huge scope. Um, but that huge scope also is a bit of a problem if the graphics aren't that varied. I mean, I play the same level over and over again. I mean, of course there are differences, and there are different cannibals that are used, and you can use different materials in order to protect your tre treasure chest. It's a really difficult word. Um, and the landscape changes. But it does, it's, it's not enough. I don't know why I'm doing it. There is no background story. I don't know what my reward will be if I keep defending the treasure. I mean, is it my retirement money? I would love to have a treasure chest as retirement money. Or um, is it a ransom that um, I have to pay to someone or that I took from someone? Did I steal it from the pirates? Or is it just new loot for them? I have no clue why I'm doing it, um, and that also makes me not really eager to keep playing it. So I would like to ask the developer to add some more detail, to add some more graphics, and especially to add some more story. Then I think it would be a really great game, because this game it has a huge scope, and I think it has a lot of potential. You can download it for free, so um, I would definitely recommend you trying it. This is just my opinion. Um, now I know. Now I think I'm right, um, but I would like to hear from you if you think I'm right as well, or if you think I'm wrong, why? So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time.